Ah, uh, look at... Oh! <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? The Big Guy Ryback here. Welcome to The Big Guy Versus Food. And today we're doing my first somewhat kind of a cheat meal, monster cheat meal. Not my first cheat meal. <laughs> uh, my first uh, calorie. This is probably close to the pizza's probably uh, 37, 3,750 calories if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're doing an extra large today, guys. Papa John's. Let's see if we get. I got my mic on. Ah, look at. Oh. Oh my. It's so big. That's what she said. <laughs> Very happy. I've got two garlic butter sauces. I would jump in a pool full of that all day long. And I also, guys, have this Philly cheesesteak sandwich which puts us probably close to around 4,500 calories. I've got a nice ice cold bottle of water here. Nice Zevia. And I'm just going to enjoy a cheat meal with you guys. I got a 48 hour fast. If I could do 72 hours, I'm going to try. Once a month I go for a 48 to 72 hour fast. I typically only do 48 hours. I've got, I've gotten to 56 hours is my record. And I do that for health benefits. Um, the intermittent fasting, I said I need so many calories during the day that that outside of just sleeping and uh, maybe a little bit before bed and uh, I eat pretty much first thing in the morning now to get the calories I need. I need about 4,500 to 5,000 calories uh, a day with uh, the workout program and everything. I'm 300 pounds and um, we're starting the workout videos this week uh, with the videographer. I think we might do the first one here at my home gym where I spend a lot of time because I got to do a lot of the rehab stuff here too and uh, and then bounce around to some of the gyms in Vegas. But I, I thank you guys for subscribing and coming to the channel. We got a nice ice cold Zevia here. If you guys are sick of the diet sodas, like with diet, I don't want to say the names because I don't, but major diet soda companies that have aspartame and sucralose, this company Zevia, I don't get paid anything for this guys. Changed my life many years ago. They have, they have all the different flavors, and it's sweetened with stevia and uh, zero calories, uh, zero carbs, zero sugar. And uh, the, the ingredients are carbonated water, citric acid, citric acid, stevia leaf extract, and natural flavors, and ginger extract in this one. So check that out, guys. If you're, you're sick of the other diet sodas or you're drinking regular sodas, don't be an asshole and drink your calories. I always said that. I learned that a long time ago. Outside of, I'm not like talking about like juicing, you know, things, vegetables and, and certain fruits and whatnot. Like, don't drink Coke. Like regular, regular sodas, guys. It's just wasted calories. And uh, I'm gonna dive in. I got a lot of work to do. I think I might start with this Philly cheesesteak first. I got the microphone on, so I don't know if that's gonna ruin anything. I did 40 sets of back today. 10 of those sets were deadlifts. 40, actually, I did that back 45 sets. 10 of those sets were deadlifts. And then I did eight sets of traps. Mm. And two rounds of hard conditioning. 20 minutes of cardio on the elliptical. My appetite is through the roof right now. Because you're on steroids. It's not because I'm on steroids. It's because I'm doing the vertical diet. And I switched off of... Um, Doing a low carb diet to going back to carbs. Wow. My muscles, you can see in the opening video, that clickbait photo with my massive bicep, my big Scott Steiner peak. Mm. 
I'm getting big. Right now, I'm trying to put on as much muscle as possible and regain my strength from all these stem cell procedures. Three and a half, four hours every day. It's a lot. Up at 5 a.m. These videos are honestly, guys, this is my break. It's crazy, right? And you think, this is like, this is why I enjoy this. You guys watch. I think that's honestly why the people... You guys see me that in, when I do these food things, how much I enjoy it? It's because I get to take a fucking break. And this is, I'm just sharing this stuff. and uh, it's, it's a lot, but it, it's very rewarding. And uh, having a business. We got all my supplements here too. A lot of them. I said, you get the big guy test booster. I got to do a live on this one. You guys want better boners? Take this, no joke. Big guy selling boner juice. Okay. That big like testosterone booster is the real deal. It will raise your testosterone. We, we tell people to get blood work before and after. My testosterone went up 300 points on it. I've seen guys come back at 250, 350, 400 points. Absolutely amazing stuff. And you legitimately increase his libido like crazy. Look at the reviews. I'm a weirdo. I come up with a, I, guys, I've been, supplements have been part of my life since I was a kid. Just always been fascinated with them. I know about so many ingredients. I've forgotten about so many that I'm constantly reading about this stuff. Mm. We haven't even got to the pizza yet. Who would have thought people would be into watching other people eat food? Not my job to understand. Eat with your mouth closed. I'm in the comfort of my own home. You're in my home right now. <laughs> eat how I want. If I'm out at a nice dinner with a lovely lady, I'll be very proper. It's feeding time. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Ah, got this garlic butter sauce. This stuff, guys. Game changer. I think it's the only reason I, I order Papa John's. I like Papa John's pizza. I haven't had a pizza in... Shit. I don't even know how long it's been now. You just had a pizza last week, asshole. No. It's been months. Many months. And we're starting off... Oh, there's a garlic butter sauce in there. We got three of them. <laughs> That's my lucky day. Uh -huh. So happy. Thanks, Papa Jones. Mm. Oh, my God. I act like I've never had a pizza before. Mm. Always amazes me. Some people watch these food videos just to complain. I'm like, what the fuck? Why would you click on it just to be angry? What would you think? A 300 pound man? How do you think you would eat a pizza? Look at my forehead. I'm clearly not supposed to be living in these times. Very caveman like in a lot of my things. I self admitted. Neanderthal. I'm dumb as fuck. I just happened to read a lot of books and I got way smarter than I should have. But like, if you put me like around a really smart person, then you could be like, yeah, that guy's dumb as fuck. 
I try really hard though. Duh. really going to blow people's mind mind that don't understand about like the supplements or anything or what the podcast and what I'm doing or my investments and think I'm just eating food for a living this is go back to wrestling and I still do this which I 100% am especially if I ever go on the road and there's places to eat hell yeah their minds are going to be blown Pizza's so good. Who doesn't like pizza? No more food after this. Mm. We got a long, this is going to be a long video. I got to take the dogs for a walk after this. I love those damn dogs. Sophie and little guy. The best. I actually got little guy from, uh, <clears throat> I got little guy from uh, Petland here in Vegas. And some, a lot of people say, don't. Don't buy pets from pet, you know, from pet stores or pet shops. Adopt, and I get it. I agree. All dogs need to be bought, though. All dogs need a home. And I should never forget. I'll never forget. I saw a little guy. This was my first dog I bet from a, bought from a pet store. I saw that little cute, crazy bastard. Little puppy, little wild eyes. I was icing my back. I was in the middle, I'm icing my back and shoulder that point I was all fucked up really bad hopped right off the couch I called grabbed my my money clip and told them to hold that dog and shot over there when I got there people were looking at him I said he's mine I was going to name him Sobo for South Boston. No, I just like weird names. But I wanted to call him Little Guy too, but I was like, you can't call a dog a nickname. I was like, well, you can do whatever you fucking want in your life. There's no right or wrong, only what you believe. But I actually had the name tag made Sobo. But when I was there... The girl um, said, uh, she called him. She goes, come on, little guy. And right then and there, and he came, and I was just like, that's a sign. He's going to be little guy. The little guy. My little guy. Such a good dog. He's being an asshole sometimes, too, but it's because he's mad at me because he can't play with Sophie. Uh-oh, running out of this garlic sauce. we got to milk these. Mmm. I got to say, putting on this body weight, though, doing my conditioning, I could tell a little difference. And I didn't do any hard conditioning for almost three months. Maybe even longer. I stopped my burpees before the stem cell procedures, quite a bit before. And, uh, man, but, I, and I'm working my way back up on the burpees a couple times a week, doing my assault bike and medicine slam balls and. I could just tell that extra body weight makes you gotta you gotta really really that the conditioning is big for me. With great muscle comes great responsibility. People don't understand that. The more muscle tissue you have, the more oxygen you need. The more oxygen your body goes through to fuel that muscle that's why I'm obsessed with cardio conditioning creates confidence that's why I'm confident 
is because I know no matter who I'm in the ring with, whether it's a 185 pound guy or, or what, what not, that, that I can go. If you ever watch matches with guys that you guys consider to be really good, you'll see some. This happened often, they'd get tired. A lot of people don't know that. I'll keep going. I'm an asshole. But there's people out there. I remember when I first came up as Ryback, I was doing the quick squashes. Oh, he can't wrestle more than five minutes. And then it was, he can't wrestle more than 10 minutes. Then it was, well, he can't do 15. And then it was, oh, he can't do 30 minutes. And then I think me and Cena, and we'd gone live events. That was nothing. Different points. I think we did 35 on a pay-per-view. It's like, well, he can't wrestle an hour. People will always say something no matter what. It makes me smile every time. Pizza's delicious. Da, na, 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 na. Feed me more. I gotta do. Ah, man, I'm getting this everywhere. It's so hard with this microphone cord. Man, that spicy peanut. We're gonna do another spicy challenge this week. The Johnny Scoville tuba tear, man. Wow. I made the mistake of not eating right before it, and the ginger wasn't enough. Man, that stuff hit my stomach, and uh, I don't know what you call it. I guess you call them stomach cramps, but it was just a discomfort. I, I that ruined part of my day, and it wasn't like I wasn't like being like a little bitch, but I was kind of being kind of a bitch. I sat over in my dining room table. For close to three hours. It wasn't until I ate a banana, two bananas, that I felt much better. But it zapped all my energy out of my body. I'm talking no, no, no energy, no strength. Couldn't go work out for the day. I had to stay home and just get a bunch of work done. But bam. Wow. Those that that those peanuts were no joke, and the heat in the mouth was it is that was hot, but that went away after like 10, 12 minutes. But when it hit my that was the first thing that actually hit my stomach and caused me some pain. But fought through it, and uh, I love the mental challenge. I know I could handle it now. I feel like that was probably the worst that I'm ever going to get with having no food and having that hit. But I got some dehydrated Carolina Reaper peppers and those uh, nitro gummy bears. So we'll see. We'll see coming up here how I do. Mm. Nothing like a good pizza. Thank you guys for supporting Feed Me More Nutrition. We've actually were redo, uh, designing the feedmemore.com site. I've got the layout. I'm really happy with. Constant work. Dealing with people. I got a great team around me. Of people. Nobody does anything alone, even though I do a lot here alone. The people that I have helping me out with things. So valuable and so such good people. There's a lot of emails and things I gotta do on my end. They also gotta handle a lot of things too, so. Having a business is no joke. 
And the bigger it gets, the more people that buy the supplements, the more inquiries that come in. Constant grinding. Well, that's what it takes. Pay that 60000 It's not all up front. It's all divided up. So, the way that it works for WWE and Vince to cancel out their trademark. But it's beyond personal with me. You don't forget shit like the, the stuff that they did. I've had to, I've used that energy to do my own thing. But they, um, it's really disheartening when you grow up and you want to work for a certain company and you find out their true colors and it's, uh, and everybody in the business knows it. And if they, if they don't say it, it's just because they're trying to protect the money they're making at the current time or that they hope to make through that company. But when you learn to make money without that business, you can tell the truth and speak up for everybody and get some power to when the time is right. You never know. And make that company your bitch. Don't be that company's bitch. Because everybody that works there is that company's bitch. That, that is there full time. That's the truth of the situation. This is a good pizza. Hmm. My new brain feed formula, my Shell Shock Extreme Fat Burner, our best seller. This stuff is legit. You guys can save 20% on feedmemore.com with code YouTube20. Mm. We have a money back policy. I believe you're going to love what we have. And if you don't, that's okay. Mmm. That's a good pizza. I think there's, is there any left? Mm. The final slices. It's just go into my traps. That's what I tell myself. Excuse me. You know, I wrote about in my book. Wake up at feeding time. About whatever your job is, just giving it your all. Big believer in that. When I worked at Smoky Bones, when I was down and out, had a little bit of a drinking problem, working 12-hour days easily, most days. The manager there, there's multiple, would tell me I was the best server they ever had. And I never served before that. But when I went in there, I went in there at a downtime in my life, ashamed to move back home to Vegas because I'd failed at my original goal and I wanted to get more comfortable speaking. I needed a job where I could eat to support my, my eating habits with the amount of calories I needed. And uh, I decided to go in there and I, I, that job was some of the most fun times I've had in life, no joke. And... Uh, People would often ask, go, what are you doing working here? And it was, but I had a great time. I hustled my ass off. They would give me, most people would only have three tables. There were times I'd have eight, nine, ten tables. I wanted them. I was hungry. Legitimately, I needed to, I needed the money. But I, I, I couldn't just sit around there. I had to work, keep my mind focused and busy. I just think no matter what our jobs are in life, whether we even like them or not, if we give it everything we have while we're there, 
keep a positive mental attitude, good things will happen eventually. They will. Maybe not right away, but with patience and hard work, good things happen. Big, big believer in that. Another pet peeve of mine. At gyms. Really disappoints me. People throw towels on the ground. Or in the toilets destroy the stalls. Just leave it a mess. For those people that have to clean those and because those people are just doing their job they're working hard it always just kind of I'm just like I'm always just intrigued by people and kind of shocked I see it at the LVAC I go to the bathrooms are destroyed sometimes and I'm just like how hard is it to wash your hands and take a towel and just throw it right there in the trash that's right there I just don't understand people's Inability to finish it, as I like to say. Because if you can't throw that towel in that trash can that's right there, you're not going to fucking win it, Mike. You're not. I don't care what anyone says, you're not. Don't return your shopping cart. Don't re-rack, re- don't re-rack your weights. You're a piece of shit. I don't care if you're watching this right now and you don't do it. Fuck you. Start doing it. There's no reason for it. Hold the door open for people. That really always intrigues me. That when I see that, when people don't do that, it's just always like, man, what the fuck's going on in their life to where like, I don't know. And obviously, we all have stuff going on, but. You want to get out of it, start doing some good deeds. Start being nice to people. That shit will shift your mindset pretty quickly. It's not easy. There's some real assholes out there, guys. But we can't let the assholes ruin it for the good people because there's a lot more good people out there. And I constantly got to remind myself of that. I'm not perfect. Mm. The final slice, <clears throat> the mastodon, the beast, the feeding machine, the big guy right back. <clears throat> ah. My wake up unlimited energy. Green apple, pink lemonade, and we got uh, mango candy coming out. Ooh, we'll do this one. Started with three supplements. About to release our ninth with Pump Plex City. Badass pump formula. Got a strawberry and cream iso hungry coming out. Man, it's it's pretty cool to see what's happening. Ooh. You know another thing that helps me out, guys? <coughs> the I get to over the I have to mentality. I get to eat this pizza. I get to go work out for four hours every day or three and a half hours with my rehab. I get to do conditioning. I get to get up at 5 a.m., there's a lot of people that aren't in good positions and don't have their health <clears throat> that uh, are struggling every day. So every day of good health, I always say thank you, especially after having all this back and shoulder stuff. And I'm still, I got a lot of work ahead of me with my shoulder a little bit, but I'm, 
I'm doing pretty good. But my back is pain free. So, and I just did deadlifts today. I, did, I went up to 315. I did 10 sets and worked my way up. I think I did six sets at 315. No pain whatsoever. Just getting my body accumulated to uh, the weight again as I start working my way up and, and working on my form. So, but I get to, I get to do that. We get to watch some YouTube videos and chill out. Uh-oh, damn, damn battery there. It's a, it's a powerful thing. So every time you catch yourself saying I have to because we all do it, I do it all the time. I try to just stop myself. No, I get to. Well, I got to feed. I have to feed the dogs. I have to. No, I get to. And it puts me in a better mood. I don't know why. It just does. So. But guys, that was that was like a 4,500 calorie cheat meal before my 48-hour uh, fast. And um, I destroyed it. I don't know if you didn't think I was going to do it, but I feel fine. I'm, I feel like I ate an extra large Papa John's pepperoni mushroom cheese and olive pizza and a Philly cheesesteak. But I'm not uncomfortable. I'm going to go take the dogs for a walk here in about 15 minutes. So what time is it? I can't see on that. I don't have a clock on my phone right now, but yeah. So, uh, no, thank you guys for watching and, uh, check out my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback on all podcast platforms and here at Ryback TV. If you guys could continue to share this, the channel keeps growing and, uh, it really, really helps out with me being able to put more into my marketing for feed me more nutrition in my podcast. And, uh, and the more money that that all makes, it gives me more power, uh, to eventually hopefully return, uh, to wrestling in some capacity in the way that I want to and not where you have to go there and um, give up anything or give up time. And because uh, I don't believe that job should be done at the schedule that it's currently being done at. I don't believe it. It, it just, it's been done that way from for since Vince Jr. took over and wrestlers die younger than any other profession. And uh, I've already had my health taken away. I paid to get everything back. They never called once. They don't care. That's the wrestling business. I signed up for that, right? But so I would be stupid then to go back and think that they're going to care all of a sudden because they don't. And that's just the nature of the beast. And that's what it is. So you got to protect your own ass. Stone Cold Steve Austin, DTA, brother. Don't trust anyone. That's not bullshit. That's real fucking shit, guys. That's why people liked it because it's real. And uh, I've left and I've got my health back and I built up a system of my own power and creating my own wealth so I can go back and do what I love at the schedule that I want and not what somebody else wants to continue to fuel their billions. So that's what I'm doing. And I have a goal. I want to get health insurance for pro wrestlers and I need a lot of money and power to be able to pull that off. There should be a health care plan in place for pro wrestlers when they're done with their time in pro wrestling and specifically WWE for the, the contributions that the talent make. Uh, and again, fueling some one man's billions of dollars and then most the majority of the guys coming out of it with very little money at the end of the day when it's all said and done, specifically compared to other uh, sporting and entertainment industries uh, and the percentages the, the, the players get compared to what the wrestlers. And, and so I'm very passionate about that. And uh, I don't need other wrestlers to speak up because they're not going to while they're under contract there. And many won't because they're afraid they won't be able to go back. I don't give a fuck if you haven't noticed. I believe in being authentic and being real and being a good human being. And if sometimes some people think you're being an asshole by speaking on what you're speaking, but you're not. Look at the other fucking side. Motherfucking Robin Hood over here. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and share this channel. Hope you enjoyed this 4,500 calorie cheat meal, pizza cheat meal, Philly cheesesteak cheat meal with the big guy. And never forget those three magic words. Feed me more. Hey guys, it's the big guy Ryback. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Go ahead and punch that like, smash that subscribe button, and check out my all-natural my all-natural supplement line. Supplement. Supplement. Stupid. My all-natural supplement line. Feed Me More Nutrition, available on Amazon and FeedMeMore.com. And as always, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms, iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, and wherever podcasts are available.
never forget, feed me more. Thank you for tuning in to this segment of Ryback's Conversation with the Big Guy. Watch full episodes here on YouTube. Subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button if you had a great time watching. And for all supplements, check out feedmemore.com.